Welcome back to another guide brought to you by Games Glitches. This is the fifth installment in my guide series on Stranded Deep and it will address any and all concerns that have come up in the comments section in my previous four guides. So without any further ado, let's cover the remaining things in Stranded Deep before the next patch comes out. Aside from refueling your campfire with regular sticks like I have demonstrated in my episode 4, but what I have forgotten to mention was the fact that you could also refill it with the palm leaves in such a way. And there you go, you could fill it up with both with sticks and with palm leaves. By holding a hammer in your hand and having created the foundation, combining 5 sticks with 6 ropes will allow you to create steps. And there you go, allowing you to now climb your foundation. Another question that I had on my comments is would it be possible to perhaps transport logs on two rafts rather than a single one. So I've decided to build a raft, two of them, and now I'm going to tr try to drag a tree on it. As you can see I'm failing here miserably because it seems that it's pushing it all around. Nope. There doesn't seem to be any logical or plausible way for me to be able to put the tree on those two rafts because they're all on their own buoyancy and they start bouncing around. As you can see, no matter how much I try, it just is not going to work out at all. Damn, this shark is... There we go. We finally murdered a shark. Took us a while to stab. And voila, you ended up looting the shark's meat. If you eat shark meat raw, you will take enormous amount of damage. For example, I was just full on health. One raw shark meat took me down. Four bars of life, remaining three are left which is basically a huge amount of damage dealt by one shark meat. It doesn't seem that there's a way to be able to place your meat into the uh, spitfire, fire spit, in any way. And the character periodically continues to try to eat the meat. When you try to drag the meat over the fire, this seems to be the only way that you could get it there. The only way you could cook it, it seems, is by physically holding it on the fire to let it roast. Once you heard the digging sound, you have now created a sh cooked shark meat. Now, let's take a look. I have three health, three hi um, hunger, and four hydration. As you can see, it completely filled me up on hunger, did not affect my life, nor did it affect my hydration. By building your campfire next to a tree, next to rocks, or anything that things can lean on, you can actually cook multiple things at once on a single campfire. As you could see here, I surrounded this one with three crabs that are all being fried at the same time on the campfire. Using this back tree right here, from preventing them from falling off the campfire completely. Therefore staying right next to the campfire and cooking quite beautifully. One of the things that I've discovered in these hard cases was a flashlight. A basic flashlight. One of the other things that you could find in a hard case would be a compass, which is one of the most ridiculously useful things in this game cause the sun doesn't seem like it just follows a northeast-west pattern. 
so compass is so co to have a compass is very important within this game as you can see when you equip the compass you hold it in your right hand and now it shows you north east west south directions which is very helpful because now you could return to your island and you know loot up all the islands that surround your main one and know exactly which way to head back home or where you left your raft or your boat on which side of the island you could also find yourself another lighter in one of these metal crates please also note to check lockers as you see here i have discovered duct tape and an x you could also discover and find buckets in the shipwrecks which in which you could boil water and do a bunch of different things with please note that you could use this bucket to fill it up with water and drink the ocean water straight off the bat but the problem is your character will get sick and will take a lot of damage while you're in the water you left click or you just dive and fills up your bucket with water or if you left click while you're out of the water with a water in the bucket you will drink it and as you could see there you get sick one of the ways of boiling water of course once you see in the water in your bucket it has this nice little reflection right there as you could see you could either drag it on a fire to boil this water and just wait for it or you could make the fire spit and then of course just hang it on a fire and wait for the nice microwave ding sound to indicate that the water has now fully boiled and it's now ready to be drank even once your wa water is boiled or pre-boiled water it doesn't seem like there's any way for you to combine crabs and water into the s into the bucket you know to boil boil yourself some crabs and some stuff apparently the wrap floats better when it's completely upside down Thank you all for watching my guides. I really appreciate how much positive comments I have received on my videos and how people are supporting my channel. Thank you all for tuning in to my fifth guide on Stranded Deep. I will continue to bring you the latest guides on Stranded Deep patches, news, and other information that comes out onto the game. So please click like, please click subscribe, and check out my other popular guides on Stranded Deep and on many other games that I have covered on my channel. Take care and be safe in the world of Stranded Deep.